Hi guys, Techman here. Today I want to talk to you about this port here, this XLR or Canon port. For those of you who don't know, this is the Leoc 2048 Watt Hour Portable Power Station we looked at at the beginning of last year. I have included a link in the description where you can find my detailed review of this unit. Now you saw me just about a minute ago taking a look at the internal connection behind the port. And that's because I've received numerous comments and questions regarding this port. And this has prompted me to take a closer look at it. And on the subject of input port, we previously took a look at this port here, the Anderson PowerPole port. This is the solar and DC input port on this power station. And I demonstrated the charging speeds when using a 12 volt and 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Again, link is in the description. But what I hadn't done is explore the Canon port. So what is this port doing here? Well, backers of this unit on the Indiegogo campaign wanted more solar input. The solar input here is limited to 300 watts. So instead of upgrading the solar input here, Leoc decided to add a second input port here. Again, this is rated at 300 watts. Now there are power stations that have two solar inputs. And at a glance you might think, well, this solved the problem, right? Mmm, not quite. There are a couple of points I want to point out here. For one, XLR or Canon port is not a common solar input port on portable power stations. And secondly, and most importantly, there is no MPPT charge controller between this port and the internal battery. That means you have to connect this port to your own charge controller. And that comes with its own challenges. From wiring to programming your charge controller with the correct charging parameters. These are things that you'll come across when building your own system, not an all-in-one portable power station. The easier and more viable alternative would have been simply to improve the built-in MPPT charge controller at the Anderson PowerPole port. Job done. Exactly. Now some of you have asked whether you could just connect a 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery to the Canon port. But I strongly discourage you from doing this. You can't just connect a 24 volt battery to another 24 volt battery and hope one will charge the other. It doesn't work that way. There are various factors such as voltage drop and other considerations that make this approach not a viable solution. Alright, so let's concentrate on this port here. So this port here should be connected directly to the battery. It has to be. So I searched online for an XLR cable for the Leoc, but finding one with a decent wire size isn't easy. And in the end, I purchased an e-scooter battery charger. This one comes with a range of adapters for various battery ports. And it also comes with a DC5525 to 3-pin XLR connector in the box. So I went ahead and connected to the XLR port. But there was no charge at the other end. And man, I was disappointed. I even went to the length to check that the cable was working. Here I've connected to the Bluetti EB55. And look, there's voltage at the XLR end. So what's the deal here? I can only speculate that there may be a loose connection inside the Leoc. Or that perhaps Leoc have a proprietary XLR cable. I really don't know the answer. Either way, I'm going to email Leoc and ask them to send me a cable. Hopefully they will be able to shed some more light on this issue. Now what do you think about all of this? If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to address them. Right guys, as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.